But with these caveats, 55% to 60% accuracy is fine. And that's it. say about the significance of how the results are used, which should not be mistaken for statistical significance, um, if you've got something riding on the outcome, that figure of 55 to 60 percent that I was using as a benchmark was in fact uh, taken from a personal and admittedly informal and probably sample biased survey of cases where people actually have been using ARV to try to guide real investments that involved real money. Um, yes, it's, there's a lot less pressure on you if there's nothing riding on the outcome. And uh, that might have been a factor in Courtney's experiment uh, that would have diluted their accuracy if it had been present. However, uh, if I assume the accuracy was diluted the same strategy still applies and still showed a good chance of showing a return. Joe. Well, there's, there's two other things that we know about ARD and bad practice in ARD. One, one is you, what targets are selected to use, target A and target B. Target A is a really good target from the product standpoint and other reasons for use in the remote Part of B is not, and you're more than likely to get part of A and not part of B, simply because part of B doesn't produce anything. The, the other problem deals with the analysis of the result. We found that over many, many years of research that human analysis almost always interjects a larger degree of error. That if you pre analyze your entire pool, you know the content of the pool well enough to be able to allow uh, computer to generate analysis and you get much higher results in terms of the comment in summary is that a highly attractive target will tend to draw ARV viewings even if it's not the one that should be hit, which is a problem, and that automated analysis is more reliable than human analysis if you've done the upfront work to make it feasible. All right. You know, they say there's no such thing as free lunch, something for nothing. If everybody started using this, and everybody started getting right, wouldn't that pull the market down anyways? Because everybody can't be totally rich, 
from the stock market that has to decline as the supply and demand. It is uh, okay, the, the, the question or comment is that this can't work if everybody uses it. Um, and the, the quick answer is, of course not, but I don't think it's likely that everybody will be using it in any time in the near future. <laughs> okay, we have time for one more question. All right, Gary. Yes, um, the, question, the question of displacement is really interesting hearing this in other contexts, for example, the drone research. And John, for example, raised the question about whether it's you pick up the, the control after the, 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 the intervention has occurred or the case of remote work has occurred. Do you have any thoughts about under what conditions you can minimize the displacement problem, if you would? And have you and your own work or anybody else addressed that problem in a way that it was like the kind of suggestion that John made? Um. I have done a little bit of work looking at displacement, and uh, my conclusion is that the displacement problem is uh, very intractable, and that most of the clever ideas that people have uh, come up with to try to avert it don't actually work all that well. So at, at the moment, uh, it's, it's very much an open problem and one that I don't have a solution for. All right, we're going to switch.